radar should be like this. So I'm just expounding the problem here. Hi everybody, this is Christiana coming to you live from the Longmont Yarn Shop. It is a little after four o'clock on July 24th and we're having some wonderful rain here in Longmont. I'm so excited about that. And today we're talking about one of my favorite things, which I don't think I've touched on very much, and that is stripes. I love stripes. I love knitting stripes. I love crocheting stripes. It is such an easy and fun way to make your project look really, really cool with very minimal effort. Hey, Gloria. Hey, Mom. Nice to see you guys. So what I'm going to be showing you tonight are both projects that have stripes in them and self-striping yarn. So a good combination of the two and hopefully give you some ideas for your next striped project. So first item I am going to show you guys tonight. This is a newer item. This is called Snowflake Yarn. Hey Allison. Uh, this is, it's an ear and weight yarn, but we do have it in the worsted weight department. It is $19.99 per ball. And it is 47% cotton, 42% alpaca, 7% nylon, and 4% wool. And it comes in this fun ball, and let me find the meter edge here. It's 115 meters, so you're looking at close to 125 yards. And in the ball, I know it looks kind of plain, but when you see this guy worked up, not only does it self-stripe, but it has little random dots of color in there. So it looks like little snowflakes falling on your project. So this hat was made for us by Claudia, except for the pom-pom that was made by Christiana. Claudia doesn't like making pom-poms, but I love making pom-poms. So anytime I get to make a pom-pom, I'm a very happy person. <laughs> but this shows you, it's more of a gradation than a stripe, but there's clear color changing in there with those fun little speckles of color. So currently we have in stock three colors and Ling just assigns color numbers. They don't assign color names. So this is color 0087, which is a really cool kind of salmony pink color. And then we've got color 0026 and this is a light brown. It kind of looks like a cup of cocoa to me, which fits the whole snowflake thing. And then the last one, oh, hi, Madison. The print on the screen's kind of small, so I'm trying to stay on top of this, but I'm squinting at the same time, so sorry about that. So this is color 0024, and this is a nice charcoal gray that uh, changes into a nice creamy white. And this one has a really cool texture to it. I wouldn't call it a braid or even a chainette. It, it looks almost like a mini I-cord me. So that is, it's really neat yarn. Uh, the hat with the palm took about one and change of a second skein. So probably about one and a third, one and a half skeins through the hat. What's really awesome about this yarn too is it's very lightweight. So it's very warm, but it's not heavy. So that's one of the things I enjoy about this yarn too. So this hat pattern, it's called the eight hat, number eight hat. Uh, honestly, if you want to find the pattern, I would just go to Ravelry and search the yarn. And this is the first pattern that'll pop up on your search. It's a hat and a, I want to say a matching cowl too. So again, that takes about two skeins of the snowflake, which is an air and weight yarn. It's pretty heavy air and weight. And it is $19.99 for 115 meters, so about 125, 130 yards. And it's, again, it's a cotton, alpaca, nylon, wool blend. Really nice yarn. I need to find an excuse to work with it myself. So the next item I have to show you guys is not a self-striping item, but you can use it to make stripes. So this is the LIS Pride set. We have about two of these left over from Pride Lunch Month, which of course was June. Hey Cheryl. <laughs> and these are $49.99. There are six games in here. Uh, this is by Theodora's Pearls, the same people who bring the oxenometer, but this is an extra fine superwash merino yarn. It is a single ply fingering weight. 
and each of these six screens have 87 yards in them, so there's 520 total yards in there. I love these rich saturated colors. And out of just one of these kits, you can get a toolbox cowl. So there are your stripes right there. And I, I love how it's not just a solid stripe, it has a little kind of introduction of the next color going on. So you've got the red into the orange and, or yellow and so on and so forth. And you can also get the matching toolbox mitt out of the six screen set. And this is really soft, really wonderful yarn. And the colors are so saturated and so wonderful. So, and Cheryl's here with me, so if you guys want to say hi to Cheryl, I will let her know that you said hi. <laughs> so again, that is the Pride Sets by Theodore's Pearls, $49.99 for six skeins, uh, six mini skeins, I should say, at 87 yards each. And of course, you could take this, what I think would be really cool is if you were to make a white or black sweater, like a very monotone sweater, and use this like around the cuffs or around the bottom and introduce that splash of color into a very monochrome sweater. I think that would be fantastic use of this yarn. Alrighty, so now I've got another kit. This is um, for the dovetail hat kit. This was made for us by Mary and I love what she did with the pom-pom using all the colors in there. So this is using the um, Alegria Grande by the um, Monosteel Uruguay. So you have one skein of the main color and then three skeins, mini skeins of the contrasting colors in here. And I believe Mary said that you could almost get two hats out of this kit, so maybe an adult size and a child size. So the kit is $59.99 and I've got the original colorway here, which is natural Juanita, Tahiti, and turmeric. So the kit does come with the pattern. And so these are the colors that Mary used for the sample for the shop. And then we've got two other colorways too. And um, as you can see on here, they didn't put a palm on here, but you've got more than enough yarn to make a pom-pom. So this is foil, tahiti, spir spirulina, and teal. So we've got the gray with the different shades of kind of a teal and green. And I love foil. This is such a fantastic gray. It is not a solid gray. It is tonal and it has almost like little splashes of pink and purple in it and it's just a really really neat yarn to work with too. Um, if you're a beginning knitter or crocheter, the Alegria Grande by Mano Still Uruguay is a great yarn to learn on. It doesn't split as easily as some yarns do so I highly highly recommend if you're learning uh, the Alegria Grande is a great yarn. So we do have the single skeins available for sale, but we've got, I'm showing you the kit tonight. <laughs> and then this kit is Natural Magenta Turmeric and Coral. For those of you who like your kind of warmer colors, the turmeric, it's equal parts gold and orange, so it kind of splits the difference between those two colors. It's a really neat color. When I'm crocheting or knitting something that has a snowman theme to it, I usually use this particular color for its carrot nose because it's kind of, it's just the right color. So that is the Dovetail Hat Kit and it's $59.99. It comes with the pattern, uh, the full skein of the main color and three mini skeins of the contrast colors. And you can get a full hat out of the kit and probably there's more than likely enough yardage in there to get a child size hat in there from their kit. So I love those stripes too. It's got a little bit of, of this would be a really good introduction to color work too because you are learning to hold two yarns together, but it's a very simple color work. It's every other stitch is a different color. So this would be a great introduction to learning how to do color work. So that is the dovetail hat. Next, I have a whole bunch of Fino minis to show you guys. Um, what Mary Ann did with the Fino minis was this pirouette cowl, and she uses this as an intro to helix knitting, which is a jogless knitting. So those of us who have done color work in the round, especially stripes, you notice that there's kind of a little bit of a jog at the beginning of your round. Well, helix knitting 
takes the jog out of there. So you can't see where the colors change. So this cowl used the Fino Minis. Uh, the Fino is a fingering weight yarn. The set comes with five minis and they are $49.99 and they covered up the fiber content on that tag. 70% merino wool, 30% silk. Uh, the total kit is 490 yards, uh, 450 meters and 100 grams per tank. So this particular colorway is called Sybil, and this is one of the newer colorways. These, uh, this is great if you like your warm colors, and if you like yellow, this is a great kit. I love how the yellow kind of pops from the other colors, the yellow and the magenta especially. So that is Sybil. And this is Yvette. And Yvette is a great combination of colors for those of you who like warm and cold colors. So you've got your blues and teals, your yellows, and then the green that kind of splits the difference between the two of them if equal parts warm and cold color. And lastly, I pulled over Henrietta, and Henrietta is great if you love your pastel colors. You've got this kind of between a creamy white and a tan, a blue, a green, a purple, and a pink. And what's really cool about Henrietta is there are, it's definitely a tonal, but you can see other colors running through that blue and green. So it creates a really neat tonal effect to it. So these are just three of the colorways we have of the Fino kits currently in stock. Um, we don't have the particular color that Marianne used for this cowl, but keep watching your, your computers because we will be getting more of this colorway in soon. And this, she said it took one set, but I am willing to bet that it probably didn't eat up the whole set of the Finos because there's so much yardage there. But that is the Pirouette Cowl made out of the Mas del Uruguay Fino Minis. And the set again is $49.99 and you're getting 490 yards. And they are 70% merino wool and 30% silk. Hi, Lynn. I hope everything's going well in Wisconsin. <laughs> All right, my next kit. Okay, this one is part of our clearance sale, and this is a super, super fun knit. This is the Copenhagen Colin Cowl, and this is by our friend Isabel Kramer. And I've got the cowl right over here. So the original pattern, this particular cowl is about twice the width of this. So we have had one of our wonderful sample knitters uh, doctor the pattern just a tiny bit so it only uses two skeins of yarn. This is a sport weight yarn and it is called Stargazer and this is part of our clearance sale. Hey Cheryl? Yes ma'am. Can I have you look up the sale price for the Copenhagen Calling Cowl please? Yes. Thank you. Sure. So we currently have this available in two colors, and I, I guess we all know who packed these kits. We've got um, Amethyst and Orion, which is purple and gray, and then Amethyst and Nebula, which is purple and cream. So the two, so that would be Orion and that would be Nebula. And this Amethyst is a really true deep purple. It is fantastic. And this yarn uh, stargazer is a combination of baby llama and silk it has this wonderful wonderful sheen to it it's not a really shiny sheen it's very subtle and this yarn is super super soft um, 27.50 27.50 okay thank you so these cowls are on clearance for 27.50 and we do have just the two colorways in stock right now so all of these items are on the Fiber at Four shopping page on the website, but anything that isn't part of the clearance sale is also in the clearance column. And uh, I think I neglected to mention that Stargazer is a sport weight yarn. So it's, I'd probably classify it more as a heavy sport weight, but this is a super wonderful project. And I love the fact too that it's again, not a straight stripe. It has the variation in the middle introducing the new color, which I think is a neat, neat design feature. 
So again, those are 2715 we have remaining in stock, Orion and Amethyst, and Nebula and Amethyst. All right, put this guy back over here. Table got really, really moved earlier, right so I've got all this space here. My next item is the melting pot tank, and I know this is kind of hard to see because this particular model is a little bit short, but this is a really nice tank top or sleeveless style sweater if you prefer. Uh, this is made with Earth Uni PK and Earth Monochrome. The monochrome is the tonal gray you see here and the Uni PK is exactly like the Unique Fingering. It has this amazing color change in it. And I know this is going to look kind of funny, but I'm going to hold her up so you can see the bottom hem light on. Oh, well. Oh, All right, there we go. <laughs> so this has a nice asymmetrical face to it. And I'm going to have to press the, the mannequin and pull her apart. <laughs> Cheryl, I forgot that the mannequins come apart. Did I help you? <laughs> no, that's okay, thanks. I'm just breaking things over here again. Okay, don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Cheryl told me not to hurt myself, so I'm going to try not to hurt myself. <laughs> the cool thing about the melting pot tank, too, is they this pattern is size inclusive, so the kits do come in size inclusive sizing. So what I have here is this is the small medium size, which is $112.99, and this is a different colorway than the one that's on the model. This is and I apologize, I know all the tags are in the way. This is kind of a, a, what do they call this? Oh, they have color numbers, not color names. <laughs> so this is definitely a very neutral colored tank. The, the monochrome, the tonal, is kind of a creamy tan color. And your contrasting color has a little bit of green, brown, and charcoal gray in there. It kind of almost looks like a camel print. So the small medium is $112.99, and the pattern does come with the kit. And then I've got here two, so this is the size large, which is $134.99, and this is the color of the model that I just showed you. So you've got the gray with the really neat cold color striping in there. And then last, I've got a size 1X through 4X, and that's $167.99, also with the pattern. And this one has the same gray, but it has a slightly, oh no, this is the same. Okay. There you can see the coloring there better. I love the striping of the Unique DK. If you've never used any of the Unique yarns before, whether it be fingering or DK, I highly recommend it. It's really nice yarn to work with, and I love watching the way that the colors fall. So this definitely would fall into your self-striping sort of yarn. But melting pot tank, and I love the asymmetric um, hemline on the bottom of the sweater. I show it to you again, but I'm afraid I'm going to break the, the model. So next, I want to show the repose cowl, and this is a super, super fun project. It has, it's garter stitch and it has the stripes in it, but I love how they add a pop of color in there. So you've got stripes going both horizontal and vertical and you graft it together there. So it's made in a couple pieces. And then you've got this amazing, just random pop of color in there. And that's actually where it's seam shut is on that color so it hides the seam really really well and this is made out of the Haven yarn by Shibui which is wonderful wonderful yarn and the pop of color is the Mono Still Uruguay Bocados which is what's also in the dovetail hat kit so I brought two colorways to show you guys tonight I believe we have three or four available on the website and the Shibui Haven is 80% extra fine merino, 20% cashmere. Uh, the Bocados are 75% superwash merino and 25% polymite. Uh, because of the Shibui Haven, this is definitely a project that you want to hand wash. I would not put this guy in the washing machine. But this color combination that I have in my hand is noir, bone, and turmeric. So 
Turmeric is again that wonderful orangey gold color. Bone is this nice off-white color. It's, it's kind of between an off-white and a gray. And then noir is this, and I apologize, I know it's kind of hard to see, this lovely, very deep, dark blue. So these kits are $159.99. It does come with the pattern for the cowl and all the yarn you need. And I also pulled over this kit, which is Noir, graphite, and cactus flowers. So the graphite, kind of hard to see, he's tucked in there pretty deep. He's this nice medium gray. And the noir again is the nice deep dark blue. And then cactus flower is this lovely magenta color. And I love, I just love those pops of color. I think that is so cool. And this is a DK weight yarn. Uh, the Bocado is a worsted weight, but you use so little of it, it doesn't affect your gauge at all. So this I think would look great with any, I don't wanna say plain colored yarn, but like a monochrome colored yarn with that amazing pop of color in there. Like if I were to make it for me, I'd probably do black, white, and purple. So again, that is the Repose Cowl Kit, $159.99, and that includes all of the yarn and the pattern. And it makes, this is a, a really substantial <laughs> cowl. You could wrap this around a couple of times. It would be really thick and really warm and great for any Colorado winter time activities you may have. Uh, next, I have a self-striping yarn for you guys, yay. So this is a fairly new yarn to us. We've had it probably about a month and this is another Noro yarn. Y'all know how much I love my Noro. This is called Yukata, and we have it in uh, the fingering weight department, but uh, because it is a Noro yarn, the fiber content does cause it to do a little of the thick, thin, thick, thin thing going on there. So it could also be used as a light sport weight. So heavy fingering, light sport. And it is 50% silk, 25% wool, and 25% polyamide. And there are 720 meters in here, which I believe is about 735 yards, give or take. So there is a substantial amount of yarn in this ball. And these are $54.99. And I pulled just two colors to show you guys tonight. So this is color 13, and I love this color. It's got a great balance of both neutrals and bright colors in there. So there's a little bit kind of a creamy tan. There's purple, of course. There's some turquoise, yellow, pink. Just about every color in the rainbow is in this guy. And then for those of you who like your greens, like Miss Cheryl, who's working at the computer right now, <laughs> here is color number seven. And I love the fact too that Noro has kind of a color theme in each ball, but then has a splash of color. So this is a bunch of greens and teals, but it has this wonderful splash of copper in it. What color do I love? What color do I have? Don't you love oh, greens? Oh, yes, my favorite. Your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> so, and it's got a tiny bit of brown in it, but it's mostly green, and I love this splash of copper in there. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Cheryl's standing back there going my best at it. So, um, the new Noro Magazine, which is issue 20, has a lot of pattern support for this particular yarn. But going back to our crochet day when I showed you guys this crochet Noro book, there's this awesome sweater in here that um, the book was actually published before the Yukata was made. So this particular sweater doesn't use the Yukata, but it calls for a fingering weight yarn. And I think this would look fantastic out of the Yukata. And more than likely, you would probably need two Two balls of this but this is the cat sleeve cardi and this is crocheted and I think this would look absolutely wonderful out of the yukata and I love this self striping yarn because it does make a project look more difficult than it actually is so I think that would look wonderful out of the yukata uh, this book is not in this week's fiber at four shopping category, but it's in the crochet one that was a couple weeks ago. So this is $24.95 for the crochet Noro book. And I think that sweater would be an excellent use of the Yukata. So again, that is a heavy fingering light sport weight, $54.99.
for 720 meters and it is a silk wool and polymite blend. Next, this is one of our favorite yarns here. This is Bamboo Pop Sock. And this yarn stripes up beautifully. It's incredibly soft. You can get a pair of socks out of one ball. But what's so amazing about this yarn is if you know anyone who has uh, sensitivities to animal fibers, this is a wonderful yarn because there's no animal fiber in here. It is bamboo and nylon. Where did the fiber content go? <laughs> Uh, bamboo cotton and a little bit of nylon for stretch and I love the texture on this it's a little bumpy and this yarn is super super soft it it feels almost like silk if you've ever worked with bamboo before it's a tiny bit slippery but it does feel like you're working with silk yarn so this guy is $12.99 and there's 492 yards in here what's really cool is if you come into the shop and you want to see what this looks like worked up, if you open up the tag, it's got a little picture in there of what the yarn looks like when it's worked up. So the striping effect on this guy is going to be a little more subtle, but we've also got this particular yarn. Oh, and this color is called Floral, but this color, which is called Jetties, but notice it doesn't have the speckling that the florals did. So the stripes on this guy are not quite as subtle. So there's an obvious color change in there that you can see striping in that. But again, super, super soft and wonderful to knit with. I haven't had a chance to work with it yet myself, but everyone I know who has used this yarn absolutely loves it. Makes fantastic socks. And I would imagine it would make a lovely shawl too. So if any of you have worked with Bamboo Pop sock and have made something other than socks with it, Chime in on the comments and let us know what you made if you have any pattern ideas. I think because of the bamboo, this is going to have amazing drape to it. And actually, I think Universal Yarn, who manufactures this yarn, does have a shawl pattern using this particular color. So that is the Bamboo Pop Sock, and it's $12.99 for 492 yards. And it's 55% bamboo, 37% cotton, and 8% nylon. All right, so this is one of my absolute favorite yarns. This is Sesame. Sesame is by Barocco. It is a worsted weight yarn. It is 43% wool, 39% acrylic, 9% cotton, and 9% nylon. So it's a lot of fiber in there. This has amazing striping effects to it. This particular colorway is called Cherry Blossom, and Barocco I think a couple weeks ago released a great pattern using this particular colorway. It's a hexagon afghan with a bunch, or blanket, excuse me, with um, a bunch of hexagon knit together using the cherry blossom colorway. So this is $19.99 for 230 yards. So this is the cherry blossom colorway and I also pulled over color 7430. And I love this guy because he looks like a rainbow, there's purples, reds in there. And the cherry blossom has a lot of green with purple and kind of a, a pinky purple in there. And what I made with this is just a simple scarf pattern that I found on Ravelry, but this is, this showcases the color changes really, really well. Sorry, the lighting's not so great in here. There we go, <laughs> you can see it better now. Uh, this, the color changing striping effect in the sesame is definitely subtle, but it's still striping and it looks fantastic and I love the little tweeds in it. I call them little nubbies, I don't know if that's the, the correct term for that, but it sit, they sit kind of on top of the surface and it creates a really neat, neat texture. This yarn is wonderful to knit with, it's wonderful to crochet with, and it's also great to weave with. It holds up really well under the tension of a rigid heddle loom. I haven't used it on any other kind of loom, but I've used it on my Cricut, and it holds the tension really, really well. So that Sesame 1999, it's worsted weight, kind of a self-striper yarn in there, very subtle self-striping and it's wool, acrylic, cotton, and nylon. Now my last item for you guys tonight, doo -doo -doo. this is one of my favorite projects 
I have ever made. And I know I've shared it with you guys before, but I want to share it again because it's just so, so fun. If you like stripes, but you don't like the big blocks of color stripes, I have this wonderful sweater called the Not Your Gal Friday sweater, where it has more of a thinner stripe. And what I used for the main color was the Barocco Ultra Wool Fine. This is a fingering weight sweater. So uh, this is 100% superwash wool and it's $14.99 per skein. And there are 400 yards in here. And for the stripe, I actually used yarn I got here on sale a few years ago. But um, you can use any fingering weight you might have just lying around. I love the fact that there's a lot of contrast between the main color and the contrast color. And it's actually a hand paint yarn that I used for the contrast color and this is knitted but you have to crochet the button loop so you're combining both skills there so for the Barocco ultra wool fine if you like the more subtle stripes I would almost put the gray and the white together if you want something a little bit more bold we have this wonderful color called fig it's a very deep dark purple and I think it looks wonderful with both the white and the gray so the Not Your Gal Friday sweater is available on Ravelry, but where I got it is this amazing book called Hitch. I am a huge fan of Alfred Hitchcock films, and I love the fact that he was so detail-oriented that even the costumes down to the very last stitch were planned. So these patterns in this book were inspired by costumes from his various films. And the Not Your Gal Friday sweater was inspired by one of my favorite movies, called Rear Window, and it's inspired by Grace Kelly's character, because she's there talking about his gal Friday, and she's not your gal Friday. But uh, this book is available at the library, and the individual patterns are available on Ravelry, so I would highly recommend checking them out. And this is such a cute sweater. You can, it's uh, top down, and you can adjust the length of it, so you can make it longer or shorter. Super, super fun pattern. Great introduction to top-down knitting if you've never done that before. It, I, I hate seaming pieces together and I try to avoid it whenever possible. So I love top-down sweaters because there's no seaming. You just knit, 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 knit. So I would highly recommend giving that a try if you've never tried a top-down sweater yet. But uh, for that sweater, I again would recommend the Barocco Ultra, Ultra Wool Fine. And what would be really crazy, stick with me here people, what if you used the Barocco Ultra Wool for the main color and the Yukata for the kind of contrast, or the other way around. I think that would look really cool with that striping effect in there. So again, the Ultra Wool Fine is fingering weight, 100% super wash wool, so that can go in the washing machine. $14.99 for 400 yards. And of course, we've got more than just these three colors available, but I just love the way those three look together. Alrighty, so that is all I have for you guys this evening. And I hope to see you guys next week. And it uh, looks like the sun's coming out, so yay! Have a wonderful rest of your Sunday, and we will see you.